Unwelcome but expected, the coronavirus has hit the UK. It's inside this hospital in Newcastle. I'm speaking to you at what I know is an increasingly challenging time. A time of disruption in the life of our country. A disruption that has brought grief to some, financial difficulties to many, and enormous changes to the daily lives of us all. I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. To ensure compliance with the government's instruction to stay at home, we will immediately close all shops selling non-essential goods. No Prime Minister wants to enact measures like this. I know the damage that this disruption is doing. And though self-isolating may at times be hard, many people of all faiths and of none are discovering that it presents an opportunity to slow down, pause and reflect in prayer or meditation. Today, once again, many will feel a painful sense of separation from their loved ones. But now as then, we know deep down that it is the right thing to do. Together we are tackling this disease, and I want to reassure you that if we remain united and resolute, then we will overcome it. I hope in the years to come, everyone will be able to take pride in how they responded to this challenge. And those who come after us will say the Britons of this generation were as strong as any. We will succeed and that success will belong to every one of us. We should take comfort that while we may have more still to endure, better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again. But for now, I send my thanks and warmest good wishes to you all.